This was the grisly scene in the Shab neighborhood of Baghdad on Sunday, after a bomb exploded in this car lot. Six people were killed. It was one of several attacks across the country in which at least 66 people died. Police said that the bombs in Baghdad were placed in parked cars and detonated over a half hour period, targeting commercial areas. Mourners held funerals for the victims on Monday in the holy city of Najaf, about 100 miles outside Baghdad. These are troops from the Democratic Republic of Congo's National Army, on patrol in the eastern mineral-rich part of the country, near its border with Rwanda. The Congolese government said its offensive push over the last few days against the M23 rebel group had sliced away a major portion of the territory the rebels controlled, including the thoroughfares that funded the group. It was the Congolese army's strongest battlefield victory against M23 since the rebellion erupted in April last year when the rebels swept across the tin and gold producing region, capturing territory and targeting civilians along the way. Here's amateur footage said to be of rebels fighting off government forces at a military airport in Deir el-Zor in northern Syria. This fighting is unfolding as a UN Arab League envoy arrived in Syria to try and lay the groundwork for peace negotiations in Geneva next month. International officials say security concerns have prevented inspectors from reaching two chemical weapons sites, raising questions about their ability to inspect all the locations by a Friday deadline. This is the Foreign Bureau, WSJ's global news update.